Hey everybody, Dom here. Today I'd like to review all cosmetic items specific to the Scout class from Team Fortress 2, but with a twist. The twist is, every review will be 10 words or fewer. This harsh constraint will make the reviews fast and concise, plus it's more fun. Let's begin. One of the original hats. Beautiful, simple, and lore appropriate. Should hatless hats even exist? A toggle would be easier. A creative reuse of assets. Has a specific crafting recipe. The grandfather hat. Often found in thrift shops. An antique. For the longest time, it was the ultimate scout hat. A fan favorite. It just seems dorky to me. Hideous. But an aviator hat is somewhat thematically fitting. Great for role playing. You know, having reliable employment. Useful to resemble the loser, Macker, from Grand Theft Auto. Used to be a tier 1 cosmetic. Now is outshined. The model all future baseball caps are based on. Item descriptions on point. It could be a mop. People never use an equip slot on small, unnoticeable cosmetics. A bad translation of magic artwork to 3D model. Bootleg flash mask. Kind of awesome. Inappropriate attire for Scout's line of work. Doesn't combo well. A big yellow back lump. Looks like a spy cosmetic was accidentally given to Scout. A real kick in the balls. Get it? Never mind. Uninspired, but fits the Scout's character perfectly. Will never be anyone's favorite hat. However, still aesthetically pleasing. Great for when zombies are trying to eat your neighbors. Sometimes in games, the ank is oddly censored out. The appropriate number of bandages for stubbing your toe. Fun fact. Most mummies are gone because people ate them. Best used in festive cosmetic set. Name has funny wordplay. Fun to use for annoying sound. Second style is unfitting. Slightly muddies up the timeline a bit with future technology. A real pain to use in Source Filmmaker. Combos with almost no scout cosmetics. Looks nice though. One of the many athletic themed scout cosmetics. Not my preference. I wonder what the scout sees through the lens. Money, 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 money. Money. The holes make it go faster. They're speed holes. Looks way better on paper versus in game. Visually noisy. Subtle and cool, but also makes you look trashy. Outstandingly ugly. Incredibly weird. Stupendously unfitting. A metallic, more jagged version of the original. Street Fighter or XCOM cosmetic? Can you guess which? Looks warm. Maybe don't use it on hot maps. Reminds me of childhood Halloween costumes. I begrudgingly approve. Some might say the Scout has bony legs. Valve should accept full model replacements in the workshop. Stylish biker gloves. Paint them green for Ash Catchem cosplay. Doesn't combo with much outside of its cosmetic set. Literally a walking advertisement. Because there are shoes. Get it? Ugly in a delightful way. Great to look intentionally silly. Didn't know Scout starred in Planet of the Apes. Easily likable sneakers. Item description is freaking dark. Honestly, I forgot this even existed. Very unmemorable. Item description does not inspire confidence. Masochists may enjoy it. Painted yellow and you got Super Saiyan hair. One of the few cosmetics that glow in the dark. Does the scout suck on batteries? That is probably unsafe. The worst robot hat. Not even a good pun name. Would be better suited as a medic cosmetic. Quite uniquely, paint only has a subtle effect on this. 10 out of 10 name pun. Very awesome cosmetic set. Retro stylish. The scout has a few similar jackets. Is there anything cooler than a cooler with cool drinks? Aptly named. Looks business casual. Makes you resemble the biker from Hotline Miami. Murderously inspiring. An iconic haircut for the rebellious teens of that period. Thematically fitting. Makes me want to play some Tony Hawk. I wonder if the scout can naturally grow a mustache. Didn't know before researching. This is an Akira reference. Great for when there's sweater weather in the neighborhood. This item isn't engineer only? The Halloween version is. A cosmetic shared between father and son. 
must be awkward. I'm stunned if anyone couldn't recognize this reference. Enter every room with, I just goat here. Delightfully devilish. Halloweener, when you paint your dong black and orange. Genuinely unsettling. Ideal for identity protection when committing murder. Now Scout can be a good doggo, a real pupper. Makes footsteps sound squishy. Talk about attention to detail. Are dog's legs good luck? You know, like rabbit's foot? Wait a second. The Scout has two goat feet cosmetics? Replaces the Scout's courier bag with something useful. Festive cheer. A furry sidekick. The cuteness doesn't stop enemies shooting. Surprisingly versatile. Looks good and combos with a lot. Cozy. The pom-pom moves. Name could be a euphemism. I wonder if this also trades for too refined. Least liked torso cosmetic. Not as bad as you think. Strange if worn alone. Imagine Scout randomly wearing armored boots. Fancy, but lame. Only looks acceptable in its cosmetic set. Ninjas are weak sauce. Oh no, I'm dead now. Ever wish the Scout's shirt had a collar? Good enough. Hardly noticeable. An alternative for those without hatless Scout hat. The least crucial piece of ninja cosmetic set. The socks. It's very comfortable looking. Like a bathrobe. Really screws up the scout silhouette. Luckily, holiday restricted. Bizarre back tubes with black holes make me uncomfortable. The one part of the cosmetic set that combos well. Edgy. But I like it. Obvious Rambo reference. This cosmetic set only really works as a whole. Confusingly shares a name with a long-standing bug. Wait a second. Chickens don't even have fists. Epiphany. Makes me want to play some Left 4 Dead. Spectacular. For my second Grand Theft Auto reference, Cluckin' Bell Hat. Shockingly detailed. Maybe made by someone with a strange fetish. Very nicely made. Simple, tasteful, and modest. Pleasing name pun. Clean design. A modification of original shirt. Not bad alone, outside of cosmetic set. Has medieval theme. Horrendous. Only really usable as part of cosmetic set. Ideal to look like a buffoon with an extended nose. Some nice looking boots. Nothing overly remarkable about them. Get strapped in because the scout is dual wielding pistols. The pin with propaganda slogans is a nice touch. Extremely cool. Stealing Heavy's look with an ammo bandolier. Goes horribly with other cosmetics. Alone, it's just unremarkable. Thesis. All matter in the universe eventually becomes pirate themed. Gives the scout not one, but two buckles. A skull design on something designed to protect skulls. Ironic? Now that thing's edgy. It even has a scarf. My mind immediately goes to Eminem's song, Without Me. Do you think the utility belt has a bat dildo? Guess who's back, guess who's back, na 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 Cause it feels so empty without me. You think it can light up like Daft Punk helmets? The theme works and it's well made, but... Meh. Styling and profiling. Actually, these are a bit garish. The scout understands that the correct safety equipment is important. Easy to tell this cosmetic was originally for Halloween. Do knights think wearing night shoes at night is funny? Oh, this cosmetic set is improvised from household materials. Why would you want to intentionally look like a fool? Turkey on head is so 1998. Get new friends. A guitar in your back makes you look cool. Fact. Who knew a cosmetic could age the scout 50 years? Looks amazing. Messes with the scout silhouette. A cosmetic that finally puts the class emblem on Scout. Wow, obvious flash ripoff. Uh, I mean, cool homage. Male deliverers are mailmen. Circular deliverers are circular people. Amusingly creepy that the Scout owns a Miss Pauling doll. Futuristic athletic aesthetic. Goes with that ugly flash hat. Society has conditioned me to associate this with vacation wear. Slick footwear, almost as slick as Healy's. <laughs> <laughs> it's disappointing to paint these. Only the cuffs change. If the name was truthful, we would see underwear. 
Marks of success. Oily trucker hair and a dirty hat. Works amazingly well with all the paints. No joke here. Snowboarding gear makes me want to play some SSX. It feels super duper uncharacteristic for the scout to smoke. Beautiful. The scout gets a disproportionately large number of jackets. Fitting that the scout would dress like a Greek god. Madness. This. Is. Badlands! Every fast running fictional character eventually gets a Hermes reference. One of, if not THE cutest pet cosmetic there is. The default style is aptly named Ugly. That it is. Very unfitting given the game takes place around 1968. The scout sure is a fan of this radiation drink. Pirates of the Boston Bay Area. Makes the scout look like a real salty dog. Cinematic. Industrial breathing equipment. Perfect for warfare. Just ask the pyro. I want to believe this is a reference to Rappy. Scout must be a writer. He has a long tail. And that was the video. This was a set of reviews made for entertainment and shouldn't be taken too seriously. It's not possible to adequately cover every aspect of every cosmetic within a 10 word limit. If you like a cosmetic but it was reviewed unfavorably, don't take it personally. Every cosmetic can look good or combo well with other cosmetics in the right circumstances. The value an item has comes from within you and not from some silly video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.